accept illegal immigrants because their climate is changing? Mr. Massey, if you understood the immigration system, you would know that there are different categories for people to be able to come to the United States to apply. There is an asylum category. There's a refugee category. There is a category for employment. There is a category well, for not, being with family. And there are a number of reasons that drive which people is the, to come but, to the United but you, States. Which one is the category that allows them to break into our country illegally uh, because the climate has changed where they live? Mr. Massey, I don't think that people are breaking into the country illegally. And I just want to say, I think, looking around the room, that I might be the only person who has actually gone through the legal immigration system. And when people differentiate between legal immigration and illegal immigration, the undertone from your side is that somehow people who are coming illegally are trying to break into the country, that are trying to do something wrong, when in fact it took me 17 years to go through the legal immigration system. And I am not disparaging of people who are trying to come to this country for all the reasons that drive people to come to the United well, did. States. The dialogue unfolding between Repser Pramila Jayapal and Repser Thomas Massey regarding the contentious issue of illegal immigration sparks a multifaceted debate resonating with themes of freedom, authenticity, and social cohesion. Delving into the intricacies of identity and belonging, Repi. Thomas Massey's inquiries probe the distinctions between lawful and unlawful immigration, emphasizing the imperative of upholding the rule of law and enforcing immigration statutes. Conversely, Repi, Pramila Jayapal's assertion challenges the dehumanization often associated with the term illegal, advocating for the recognition of individual dignity and the rights of immigrants irrespective of their legal status. Her rebuttal redirects the discourse towards legal pathways for immigration, perhaps overlooking the criticality of maintaining robust border security and adherence to immigration regulations. Examining Repper Massey's line of questioning reveals underlying anxieties regarding shifting demographics and cultural flux, grappling with questions of societal inclusion and resource allocation. These inquiries echo broader democratic concerns surrounding national security economic equilibrium, and socio-cohesion in the face of unauthorized immigration. Thus, the conversation underscores the necessity for policies prioritizing both border enforcement measures and avenues for legal immigration, seeking to address the complex intersections of identity, security, and belonging within contemporary society.